Hitachi Storage plugin for containers makes it simple to enable the dynamic provisioning operation of the virtual storage software block when containers are used to 1. Integrate virtual storage software blocks into Kubernetes-based OpenShift container platform clusters and 2. Support both Kubernetes and Red Hat OpenShift container platforms. This video shows you how an OpenShift container platform created as a user provision infrastructure using VMware vSphere 6.7U3 dynamically creates volumes and attaches them to a container. Hitachi Storage plugin runs the HPSC CSI controller component only on the master nodes to orchestrate storage tasks and runs the HSPC CSI node primarily to manage volumes on the worker nodes. It is easily deployed to the OpenShift container platform using the operator, which can be installed from Operator Hub from the OpenShift web console. Virtual storage software block cluster should be previously set up according to the setup guide provided by the product documentation before you begin. Make sure you have also installed the OpenShift container platform and the iSCSI connectivity between the worker node and the iSCSI target has been successfully established. Let's dynamically create a volume, attach it to a container, and run VDBench from the container to generate workloads. First, with Hitachi Storage plugin already installed, Verify Hitachi Storage plugin for containers is ready for use. Log in into the cluster with an admin account from the Red Hat Enterprise Linux host where OpenShift configuration files are installed. The output of this command shows the storage plugin is ready for creating a persistent volume and pod. Next, set up a secret file that is necessary for storage plugin for containers to work. The secret file contains the URL to access the REST API server as well as the user and password settings, all of which should be encoded as a base64. Then create storage class settings. The storage class file contains storage class name, storage type, secret name, and other settings that are necessary for storage plugin for containers to work. Set up persistent volume claim settings. The persistent volume claim file contains volume information like persistent volume, claim name, access mode, volume size, and storage class name that is used by storage plugin for containers to create persistent volumes. Set up the pod settings. The pod file contains container and volume information that is used by storage plugin for containers to create a pod that uses the persistent volume claim as a volume. When settings are completed, the secret storage class persistent volume and pod are created. Once the volume is attached, let's log in to the container and run VDBench to generate some workloads. From the Hitachi Virtual Storage Software Block user interface, you can see the persistent volume has been created and the performance graphs show the IOPS and transfer rate from IOs triggered by VDBench from within the container. Hitachi Storage plugin for containers makes it easy to deploy containers by enabling the dynamic provisioning operation of the Virtual Storage Software Block. For more information, visit knowledge.hitachivantara.com.